Hey viewers, Lance Mechanics here today, and I got a good one for you. Well, I wouldn't say good, maybe great. Uh, Think, uh, Think Car sent me a really cool scan tool to review, and uh, I'm not like most car channels. You're just gonna get the raw and edited footage, so uh, let's get to it. We'll try these camera angles. Everybody does an unboxing video. Think Diag said, or Think Car said, do whatever I want, so I'm just gonna do this real quick. Um, comes with the Ethernet cable, the hookup, USB instructions, read them, do whatever you want with them. Packing list, ha ha ha. All that stuff I just threw aside. Um, comes with the scan tool, the DLC connector, your network cable, um, USB 2.0 to network cable. Um, surprisingly not, surprisingly, oh, let's see if we got the quick tear here. Um, I use something like this a lot underground. Um, Ethernet to USB, pretty important. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for. Uh, we have this S chassis connector, your type C uh, cable uh, in the packing list, <laughs> the user manual. The packing list is including in it. This isn't that like inception. Um, all your adapters for European standards and North American. So here's the actual tool itself. Uh, so as an automotive guy, I'm gonna tell you straight up, you don't have a feeling quite like this. Um, this is different. This feels solid. Um, this is magnetic. You could throw it. Good little click action there. This is aluminum. I know because I've tried to bend it already. Give it all one over. Your type C, your USB, your power. Everything feels quality. Oh, that went on pretty quick. Uh, exit. <laughs> So it's on, um, I forgot, I didn't turn it off. So when you first get it, you're gonna power it up and you're gonna go upgrade. Um, well, you might have to go to your settings there, but upgrade, you'll hit enter, it'll ask you to put in your your uh, Wi-Fi and then do all that and then it'll update. It didn't take long. Um, yeah, it'll go through, do all the upgrades. <sighs> our, little, uh, our little ape there, or grease monkey as you wanna say. Um, this feels great, this is responsive. So one of my biggest uh, complaints as an automotive technician is responsiveness. So responsiveness can make or break you. As technicians, our hands get very calloused. So when you're constantly doing this and you're getting frustrated, trust me, you're gonna get frustrated. The last thing you want is unresponsive touch thing. And you can see here, this thing is just pretty good. So settings, well, let's enter settings. I'm not gonna put my email, my Wi-Fi is already there. It's up to date, photo album, screen recorder, user, you can put all that stuff in if you want. What's this, uh, brightness, brightness is always better. I like high volume, because I'm deaf. Uh, 24 hour format if you're a savage. Um, units of measurement, we'll get back to this. I already went through the scan tool. Um, you don't have to click on that. Maintain, USB connection mode, clear data, factory reset, all the fun stuff, and about. So, one little screen here. So if you're on Wi-Fi, they offer an online service, technical support, people, real-time information. Uh, see if my internet will reach out here, quick QR code. See if my Wi-Fi will go, Wi-Fi's on. I don't know who, eh. yeah, see, so it's not gonna work out here. Uh, look into it, check the online stuff, it's pretty neat. User manual for this, network failed. Again, you're gonna have to be on Wi-Fi. Um, I'm too far away, I may get it in the garage at some point. Sorry for not being able to show you that. OBD fault library. When offline, you can query the meaning of an OBD fault codes. When online, you can query and analyze the fault codes. More tools to help a technician, huge. I always say, you don't have to be proud, you don't have to remember everything. Use the resources at your disposal. So coverage list, don't oh, stop shaking, here we go. This is another thing you're gonna have to use online for. Um, it'll do a quick, it'll tell you what this can and cannot do. Um, there's too much here that, I, honestly, you'd have to go and look online. What else are we Module, exact, you expand the functionality of this device. Cool, I guess more storage. Gadget, Chrome, that's good. You can use it as a remote assistant. Get technology according to your region. Nah, I probably wouldn't use that. So yeah, very simple, very friendly to use right now. So let's get into it. Upgrade. So maintenance software. Um, I got the latest version, APP store. I'll have to check. 
So one of the things I'm gonna say right off the bat, this probably doesn't have ADS. That's adaptive uh, cruise control systems, uh, calibrations. That's usually something with all scan tools you're gonna pay for an upgrade. I may, depending on how this pans out, upgrade this myself. Uh, it does come with free software updates for a few years, I believe. Don't, don't say 100%, I'll find out. Uh, maintenance software, you always wanna download that. And then vehicle diagnostics software, it's all under the upgrades. So maintenance, there's a million items under here from ABS bleeds to, oh, I'll just go through, what's this? Gateway control module deck, calibration, gear learning, anti-theft key matching, injector coding. Thought I'd seen some BMW stuff in here. Uh, something like footwell. It's got it all. Um, will it work on your vehicle? That's hard to say. Um, this thing, I imagine is gonna work on most vehicles. We're gonna go out to my Honda because if this thing can program keys, I'm gonna invest into this. And I think you should do Windows calibration. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Um, I know it could be a problem. Tire size adjusts, Jeep thing. Um, again, you click on coverage list and go from there. So naturally it comes with the auto search. This is gonna be the feature uh, most people are using. Then we go into diagnose. You may wanna go into one module only and you'll put in all the information manually. OBD2, so this is interesting. So I could probably hook this up to any J1939 protocol and just use the can high, can high, low and go into a module, um, simple. And then you're probably gonna have yeah, history and then report, print it out. Always printing stuff out, especially after you do a full DTC scan is amazing. And what's this last one? Feedback. If you provide any problems during the vehicle diagnostics, you can provide you a VAC and basically the Think Diag team you send this off and they may be able to help you. Great feature. So we're gonna go back to the auto search. Oh, cancel. So we're gonna go out to the Honda and see what damage we can cause. So normally I'd go to the Jeep and go through the CAN access network stuff there, but I'm so sick of dealing with that Jeep there. You need special plugins. I don't see the plugins, so we're gonna go right to the Honda. We're gonna go to the hard hitting stuff, the stuff I know people are gonna to wanna to see and we'll go from there. So I figured this might give you the best view. I can zoom in on it. We're gonna hit enter and do the auto scan. Uh, the Honda's already running. I got the thing in there. Cool little diagrams there, matrix -y. See how long this takes. I can always uh, zoom in a little bit for you. Real world 2022 Honda Civic Sport Touring 1.5 liter turbo CVT. Dun, dun, dun. And it's going real world testing here. And well, I'm not sure how that's turning out on your screen. It looks a little blurry around here. Um, that's unfortunate. So Honda's always gonna ask you 16 pin, what part of the world you're in. I'm a Canuck. Go from there to load. I would sing the Jeopardy song, but I'll get disqualified. So we're gonna go system selection. So the first thing I wanna check is mobilizer, but on Honda, all these things are gonna be, it depends on your vehicle. So this has a push button start. We're gonna go here. Loading, loading, loading. Keyless access, control use. We're gonna go registration, see if we can add a key. Always normal. I've seen that on these. So keys, uh, yeah, add a Honda smart key. Turn the ignitions, oh, it'll do it. So we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna hit cancel. Two week wireless, also hundred speed. So that's good. I know for a fact now that this thing's gonna be able to program keys, wicked. So here we are back at the main menu. I tried playing around with the settings, trying to black screen. Um, I'm not sure how well on camera this is showing up. Uh, it is what it is. I'll put you back straight there. Um, so we're gonna go back to the common screen here and so we have system selection, full system scan, common features, oil life reset. It's a Honda, you can do it through the infotainment screen. Steering angle reset, brake pad replacement, coolant bleed. Oh, it moved on me. Uh, motor angle sensor calibration. Again, that's for your steering angle sensor. Battery match, high voltage battery diagnostics. Uh, that's gonna be for the hybrid. We don't have that unit. Mobilizer key reprogramming, TPMS reset. That's gonna be for the uh, US citizens only. Again, you can do that in the infotainment system. 
Uh, what else is there? Immobilizer, we've been through that. Tire pressure, injecting a coating. Um, you won't be doing that. Level calibration, it doesn't have an inclination sensor, but that's probably more for the Honda Sport models. Change my angle here again. So gear learning, airbag reset, all this stuff. Transport, tire reset. Windows calibration, common on Hondas, absolutely. Um, <laughs> your window goes up and then it randomly comes down. That's something you'll have to do. Oh, I think I went too far. So I'm in the ECM one now. I'm under special functions. There's gonna be a lot here. Second battery cancellation. Consumption hit current history, that's huge. Use that shipping mode release. Uh, I mean, yes, I've seen that. Uh, generally when we've done the PDI, we take it out of that. Uh, idle stop counter clear, that's only when you do a new uh, starter. So no biggie there. What else we got here? Can you write the VIN? Let's try it. No, we're not gonna try it. <laughs> Let's go to live data, read data stream. Where's RPM? Where's the ripums? Um, air fuel ratio, okay. We're gonna graph that, it should be going up. So, see how well this turns on screen, give it a little gas. Then we're gonna let off in three, two, one. There we go, there's the spike. So you can graph your live data, that's always cool. Oh, set your mins and max, we're gonna go back. Where's a good one on here? There's all the cool stuff, there's lots in here. Honda is good for having hundreds of PIDs. Uh, let's go right to the bottom, see how many we have. 288. You won't find that on a Dodge product or a Ford, I'll tell you that. But uh, they are notorious for including CVT and transmission stuff all in the same, same area. So, let's go back here. Let's see what the ABS has. Automatic transmission. It's basically CVT. You're going to have nothing in here. Maybe a pressure learn. There's maybe three or four solenoids at max. Actuation... Yeah, there's really not much here. Learning value reset. Um, you wouldn't play in there unless you suspected a CVT fault. SRS. Let's see, let's see what we can do in there on a Honda. Let's go into special function. Steering wheel sensor initialization. Again, they got to see where your uh, steering wheel is. It's tied into your safety systems now with your adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist. Uh, all that stuff goes through the SRS. So I'm not surprised you'd find it here. Um, Honda's very good at putting things in other modules. Seat weight sensor, no issue, ABS, electronic power steering. You think it would be in here, but it's probably going to have your end positions and some other options. Uh, but it won't have your steering wheel sensor calibration. So end positions, value clear, motor adaptive power learning, your torque sensor, neutral point. Um, this is stuff you shouldn't play with unless you're replacing components. Hopefully you're not doing that. Hopefully this thing still has warranty. So you know what? There's a lot going on here. I can make an hour long video. Um, so far I'm liking everything I see. As you know on the channel, I'm very, very familiar with Honda. Uh, I did Dodge, Kia and all this. I, I feel like this would work very well in the Dodge products. And don't get me started on a uh, Chevy there. Uh, most scan tools can do Chevys. Let's, let's not lie there. Um, what I'd look into is I gotta do some more research. ABS, um, adaptive cruise control, your lane keep, uh, your mirrors. So on Hondas, a lot of people don't know this, is you have something called a passive calibration or adaptive learning. So when you replace the windshield and you do the camera, you can go on a very long road test. It takes about 30, 40 minutes and the camera learns where the lines of the road are and relative to the vehicle. So you can do a window calibration without having to do the targets. Uh, and the other one is static aiming, which is you are using the targets. Um, I feel like that's a feature you have to pay for because um, ADS is, it's, it's definitely not something every scan tool is going to have, and I don't think this one has. Uh, I'll have to do some more research, but I'm going to say it doesn't have ADA or ADS or whatever you want to call it. So other than that, I'm pretty happy. Like programming uh, scan or keys on a 2022, I imagine if I had the proper uh, gateway access for this, I could do it on my Dodge too. Um, I got a Ford next to me. I got a Buick in the driveway. I think this is more than powerful enough. The fact that I'm able to do all this stuff on a 22 Honda Civic makes me more confident in doing other repair videos. Like I said, this thing is, it's powerful. 
hoping in the future they send me the big one with the ADA or ADS in it and uh, we'll go from there but um, man the quality on this thing like my frustration as a tech hitting the screen with my finger cannot be repeated especially when you're having a rough day that is the last thing you want and it seem, may seem very trivial to you but it's not to me so uh, whatever you think uh, check out think car diag I'll put it in the comments there I'm pretty happy with it uh, if you want to see more I may do some more videos with this I'm definitely gonna incorporate it into future videos of troubleshooting so uh, Lance mechanics hope you enjoyed this have a good one oh and by the way uh, this if you leave this in the car this says uh, poor connection uh, check your connection uh, that's basically telling you you left it in the car you may want to go back and get it